No. So we have a uh, like a 15 second segment where Heenan's in the ring about to interview Giant Gonzalez. Heenan is so awesome, intentionally blowing his lines and blaming it in the cue card guy, not knowing if they're live. Are we live? Tell me we're live. We are live. You're supposed to tell me we're live. He was the best. So then he brings out Giant Gonzalez and Harvey Whippleman for an interview. God damn. I was watching uh, uh, Bobby Heenan having to interview Mm -hmm. Giant Gonzalez and Harvey Whippleman. Has there ever been a bigger waste of a talented guy? God bless Giant Gonzalez. But the costume, as I'm sure there's not one person listening to this who's not seen a Giant Gonzalez costume. It's fucking preposterous. I couldn't focus on anything they were saying. I'm looking at this costume. It's an airbrushed. So here, let me, let me. When I was young, the way it was described was he had muscles airbrushed on a singlet True. and fur. Yeah. Right? Fur, fur speedo, yeah. Okay. This was not fucking fur. No. They went to fucking Home Depot if that existed back then, and they got like shag carpet. Yeah, the 70s. He shag. fucking had pieces of carpet taped on his fucking body. He's, they claim he's eight feet tall. Yes. Which he wasn't. And uh, I don't even remember that he talked. Yeah, usually he this... actually said words yeah. at the end of this stupid promo in English. Yes. And they're yeah. interviewing Harvey Whippleman about the match with the Undertaker, and the Undertaker's gimmick is you know everyone loves the Undertaker, but 1993 this is a fucking dumb gimmick. He's a dead dead guy. You know what I'm saying? He's dead guy. <laughs> There's not much room for interpretation there, it's Brian. It's a fucking dead guy against the abominable snowman at yes, WrestleMania. That is the, I'm supposed yeah. to give two fucks about this. Yes. The costume's stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, Harvey Whippleman's, you know, God bless the guy, but he's not in the upper echelon of managers. I mean, he's better than Fuji. But fuck, what a waste of time this segment was. And I did not want to see this match when it was over. No, no. I dreaded it. Yeah, usually the 70 shag is under the speedo. I was going to say like I'm I'm looking at this and it's so beyond ludicrous this giant Gonzalez suit and part of me is thinking were we supposed to think that he is a very hairy naked man? I I can't tell if he was we're supposed to think that was his actual muscles. I don't know. Like, I, I mean uh, I watched this show and I don't put it past Vince thinking we'd buy it. But how? Because Cameron walked into the room. He looks at the TV and he goes, oh, my gosh, that guy's huge. Yeah. And he goes, pauses. What is he wearing? Yeah. Like, people have made. And he needs to shave his pubes. <laughs> Fair. I mean, that's supposed to be hair, right? I think that's what I'm asking. Like, the stuff on his shoulders is undoubtedly supposed to be hair. Yeah. So the thing on his waist, that's not a loincloth. No, that, that's that's his He's bush. A pro- Preposterously hairy. That's okay. So, so we're on the same page. Yes. Here. Yeah. Because he, he's disgusting. A, he's not supposed to be even a caveman. He's a wild animal, and this is his pelt. His pubes extend down his legs, and not the inside, the outside. <laughs> the, the calves and his forearms too. Not, not his palms, thank goodness. Just his forearms. But this is bizarre. Anyway, he finally de- declares Undertaker. Well, of course, his palms are not hairy, Vinny. He <laughs> can't even find that thing. Oh, Brian, I will admit, I hadn't thought of that, that thought about that. I had not put that much uh, mental mental uh, footwork into figuring out where that would how that would happen. Thank you. It's a good thing he doesn't smoke. That's all. <sighs> giant Gonzalez declares, Undertaker, I have a giant surprise for you, and that has a whole other meaning now after this conversation. There's a Hulk Hogan video. He's making his big return at WrestleMania. I love dick jokes. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, girl. How was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so you. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? Wendy Chu? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.